Hello everyone, welcome back to another performance review for the Chuai High 12. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but this was requested a while ago and I promised I would get round to it. So here we go, this is Blender 2.79, a free open source 3D program. I myself am new to this program, so don't expect me to create some sort of tropical scene here. What I have done though is watched a lot of tutorials over the past few days in order to try and familiarise myself as much as I can with Blender. I downloaded and used Blender on my Mac so I'm also aware of how well Blender can perform. On the Chuai High 12, Blender is able to perform some basic tasks such as inserting a mesh and moving it around the viewport. I found rotation was a little difficult using the pen though. From what I gather, majority of Blender users use a 3 button mouse because the middle button plays an important role in Blender. There is a way to simulate the middle mouse button in the settings but I still struggled. Another drawback was the fact that the Hypen H1 doesn't allow a hover cursor which is useful in functions like resizing or scaling an object. I'm able to do some more advanced things like adding a quick smoke and turning it to fire. However, turning the resolution up to make an object smoother made the program run slow. Sculpting on a single object was nice and fast. I experienced no lag there. I also noticed I didn't get any line variation, so pressure levels don't work on Blender with this high pen. But when I loaded up two of the demo files provided on Blender's website, I found the program took ages to load and then after that, every click I made within Blender would make it lag or freeze up. And of course rendering the monkey head on fire took much longer than it did on my MacBook Pro. So my final verdict on this is obviously no, the Chuai High 12 doesn't perform well with Blender. Maybe okay if you're playing around with sculpting 2 or 3 objects, maybe even up to 5, but for more complex scenes Chuai High 12 still struggles and sculpting will become rather frustrating. I would also recommend using a wireless mouse rather than the pen and also a keyboard. Thank you for watching and I also want to apologise for my lack of knowledge of Blender. I have spent a whole week watching tutorials in order to try and learn the basics of Blender. So I hope the information I was able to provide is enough. Until my next video, bye!